one casualty about this Kendrick Lamar Drake situation that nobody really talks about is Tommy Richmond would still have his number one if Kendrick Lamar didn't decide to drop like five nukes on Drake. And we've seen the song literally hit number one. It would have stayed there longer. He just got hit with such a wrong place, wrong time, wrong everything. Because he learned from everybody else. He posted the snippet. The snippet picked up traction. He posted it a week later. And everybody was enjoying it and loving it. He even dropped the VHS version for people who like the snippet quality. All of that. He did everything right. And then the two big dogs of rap decided, that, like, yeah, this is the time that we're going to start beefing. And, you know, it sucks for him because I would say that it's a very good song and it deserves the number one. The thing that I can say about him is at least he has a good sense of humor about it because if that was me, fuck Kendrick, fuck Drake, fuck rap, you took my number one? At least he can make jokes about it because I promise you I wouldn't be making jokes about it. I guess the lesson of this would be you can do everything right and still kind of get gypped out of something that you earned.